In the previous video, I talked about the basic idea behind the stun shot. I suggest that you watch this video first, so I will link it in the description below. When you cut a target ball with a stun shot, the cue ball will travel on the tangent line of the point of contact between the cue ball and the target ball. This is very useful because it is quite easy to see or visualize this line when planning a shot. The tangent line will be at a 90 degree angle to the shot line or the line on which the target ball will travel. In this example, it is easy to see that the tangent line is straight into the corner pocket. So to avoid potting the cue ball, you need to play a normal rolling shot, which will cause the ball to deflect less than the tangent. Alternatively, you can play a draw shot, which will cause the cue ball to deflect more than the tangent line. The tangent line can be easily visualized by holding the cue perpendicular to the shot line. Since this line is very easy to predict, you can use it to break up problem balls or cannon into your opponent's balls. Playing for position is also simpler when you can work on the tangent line. Obviously that would not be the ideal shot, but you can change the line that the cue ball will travel on by introducing running side to the already stun shot. So by aiming just below center or stunning the ball, also aim to strike the cue ball about half a tip to the left of center. This will widen the angle that the cue ball will bank against the cushion, allowing you to play into a much bigger area for your next shot. Just note that running side means playing left spin when banking the cue ball to the left or right spin when banking to the right. Thank you for watching and if you would like to join my journey to become a better pool player, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribing to my channel.